hi welcome to another tutorial with me my name is Ivan today I'm just going to show you the basic of creating a, a 3d cube um, and how to move it around and scaling it and then I'll also show you a bit about the, the lighting okay so I've created my rectangle it's on a new layer and there's a couple of ways you can go about creating it 3d either you can click on the 3d window or you can go if you can't see that go up to window and 3d and you want to choose selected layers because you've got your um, that layer the correct layer selected 3d extrusion and then create or on your layer itself you can right click and go to new 3d extrusion from selected layer so I'm just going to do that okay so I'm just going to move this about so we can see so I've got the extrusion over here makes it look quite nice like that um, you've got everything over here your lights your rectangle all the different um, faces of the rectangle and the constraints as well okay so here you can see you've got the green one which is the y-axis the red one which is the x and the blue which is the z all of them have the same features um, you can scale it along just the one axis which is the y make it bigger and smaller you can scale it along the x axis to make it bigger sideways or scale along the z axis which you can just basically adjust the extrusion on this one and you can rotate it as well just along the, the separate um, axes xz and the same goes with that one okay so let's undo that and now we come to the light um, you've got infinite light over there that it always comes starting off with infinite light you can achieve, you can adjust the direction that it's coming from just by clicking and dragging here um, so it depends where you want your light to come from let's move it to the side so we can see it coming on this side over here your shadow uh, the softness that's how um, feathered it is really it looks all speckly here but once you've rendered it correctly it will come out looking like a proper shadow you can take it up as high as you want um, that's entirely your choice depends how much you want it um, how much shadow you want really the color intensity it's on 90 percent at the moment you can either move it down to make the darker and the shadow lighter or vice versa make the the object lighter and the shadow darker okay yep so that's pretty much it for the first tutorial in my 3d um, series should I call it hope you found it helpful if you have please give it the thumbs up I've got many more to come and please hit the subscribe button so you can get notified when I upload some more thank you